This is just proving my point. All right. McGregor is basically saying these guys better be sweating bullets, nervously running around like chickens without their heads, coming up with a deal for me that I'm going to like. Otherwise, I've got loads of Hollywood movies lined up. Now that I've done one and I'm the highest paid actor and I'm starting to pave my way in that industry as well, the UFC knows that if they don't come at me with something nice, I'm going to have something else occupying my time for the next couple of years. I'm leaving my prime. I'm 35 years old. It's now or never. So is Conor McGregor actually going to be fighting this June? Well, we've all been looking forward to this new interview that Conor McGregor did with Ariel Helwani since he teased it the other day, saying that he's back this summer. He's ready. He's locked in. All things are go. All systems go. Well, as far as I'm concerned, after listening to this interview, nothing has changed. And the only thing that McGregor really told us that's worth talking about is the fact that actually... Not all systems are go. There are some systems that have yet to hop on board, which is the UFC. Conor McGregor, at this point, he wants to fight, but he only wants to fight if the UFC is going to offer him more money than they've ever offered him. Because if you just listen to the way he's answering these questions, he keeps alluding to the idea that the ball is in the UFC's court. All right, and I'm going to play moments from this interview Again, McGregor's doing this whole media tour for this new Roadhouse movie that I'm looking forward to watching. And it's about the end. So he's got more free time and he can decide on whether or not he wants to resort to training and getting locked in for a fight with Michael Chandler. Or if he wants to continue to do the same thing that he's been doing throughout the past couple of years and just focus on business and big round pads with his yes men trainers and throw big meaty hooks while listening to house music and then heading off to the Black Forge Inn to smoke big blunts, drink beer, and then, you know, basically get drunk every night. Now, does McGregor want to actually get in the cage with Chandler? Does McGregor want to actually potentially ruin his legacy further in the cage? Or does he want to play it safe, which is what I think would be totally fine for him to do at this point? Because let's just be real, at this point, I think we know... McGregor's getting fucking smoked if he comes back. McGregor's getting lit up like a Christmas tree, probably KO'd. The point that I'm making, because we're going to get into the interview now, is that he's not any closer to fighting, in my opinion. Like, technically, if he decides to come back, yes, we're closer to it because a few weeks ago, that that would be further away. But my point is, the only thing that's changed is that he's no longer doing the media tour, and he's just thinking about the potential of coming back a little bit more. But the whole June thing, not all systems are go... That's bullshit, all right? It's total bullshit. He's in contract disputes with the UFC. The fact that he's doing this stuff, announcing his return in June, and the UFC's not behind it yet, and they're totally quiet on this issue, and they're all going to be ambiguous when they're asked these questions, like Dana White at press conferences, he's going to be saying things like, we're going to see, we're going to try to make things happen. All that means is that McGregor is trying to Basically, just get the UFC to freak out into giving him what he wants, okay? So let's just fucking get into this interview, because I really don't think there's a whole lot to take away other than that, and I'll prove it. Here's the first relevant question that Ariel Hawani asks after buttering up McGregor, asking him how he's been and all that. So he's going to ask, are you actually fighting in June? Okay, so you're happy with where it's at as far as UFC 300 is concerned. Are you fighting June 29th, Connor? This is the big big question that everyone wants to know. So... I'm very happy where I am now, Mike. The call has been made and we're a go. So, you know. (laughs) The call has been made. McGregor demanded that his manager call the UFC, tell them the exact amount of money they want and say, listen, this is the minimum. We're not fighting for anything less. Get back to us with the specific number or we're not coming back. That's basically what I think McGregor is saying. Again, he's going to be acting as if all systems are go. Because if Conor McGregor says, listen, we're in negotiations, then the UFC can say, also, we're in negotiations. But if McGregor says all systems are go, and then Dana White, a week later, a couple days later at a press conference, says something other than that, then it's clear that it's the UFC holding them back, and McGregor looks good, and the UFC is the one that's going to be under scrutiny. So l- let's hear what he has to say. This what does summer, that mean? What does that mean, the call has been This made? means this summer that Mac is back. So let's I'm happy go. with... No, it doesn't mean this summer. See, again, it doesn't mean the Mac is back. The Mac is not coming back, bro. As far as I'm concerned right now, it's up to the UFC to say, okay, we're willing to dish out 
the bag, willing to open up the wallet completely for this guy, which they may not do because he may be asking for like way more than they've ever paid him. We'll see. I'm happy with my time I've got in the lead up to it. I'm happy with where I'm at and everything just works out in God's name. And I'm ecstatic, my man. I, sp I, got, I got great I got great news uh, the other day. I, I essentially got the news the other day and I was like, boom, straight. I have, an, I have a full scale octagon in my house, in my, in my garden, in my front garden. What news did he get? Because again, he's not going to say in this interview that he's actually like getting booked to fight. The UFC hasn't announced anything. They might. I hope they do. But the ball's in the UFC's court. They may just reject whatever McGregor's offer was. Or his ultimatum, I should say. Can I just ask you this, Connor? Because I've seen you do a lot of interviews with a lot of sort of Hollywood media, and you drop little nuggets that I think go over their head because maybe they don't follow fighting as closely as we do. Okay. And I could sense your frustration when you've been talking to a lot of people saying, I'm waiting for the call. Here's my take on it, Connor, and I'd love to get Hello, more. Mr. White. Hello, Mr. White. But Connor, and the Anthony straight. Joshua... Anthony Joshua doesn't wait for the call from Eddie Hearn. Tyson Fury doesn't wait for the call from Frank Warren. Conor McGregor, as you put it, the most underpaid fighter in the history of fighting, shouldn't wait for the call from anyone. The date should be built around you. You know uh, that. I yeah, can yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's fair, it's fair, it's fair enough. I've two fights left in the contract and we got to do something else. Or, 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 or do we? I don't know. I mean, surely, surely nobody brings the figures I bring. Nobody brings the figures I bring or ever. I don't, you know, so we, you know, all of the, all of these things will I'm sure be worked out and ironed out with my management stable Paradigm Sports in our next phase of relations, our, our, our next deal, if you get me. Ariel Hawani saying the UFC would surely build a date around you. There's this idea that the, the Conor McGregor is just hopelessly waiting. No, dude, Conor McGregor is not just hopelessly waiting. The UFC would love to have him come back. It's just that they're in contract disputes. McGregor wants more money. And that's why he's saying, yeah, yeah, I'm the highest paid UFC fighter and, and I'm underpaid and all this shit, which is probably true. But again, his next phase of relations, yeah, that's happening right now. Is the UFC going to accept what McGregor wants or not? Because in a couple minutes, he's going to say, listen, I don't have to fight. I can go out and do a bunch of movies. I can have a bunch of movies made around me too, just like cards. So he's not actually just locked in in June. There's no fucking way. Right? Like the UFC is going to have to okay it and they might not. So, so uh, I'm happy. do they want you to sign a new deal before this, this upcoming? There's been fight? no talks about no deals. There's been okay. not, not an iota of a talk. Usually Lorenzo would have had something tasty on my plate. Lorenzo well, would have had something Lorenzo tasty on my plate. So, yeah. yeah. Lorenzo would have had something even. tasty on my plate. So, hey. They just did, you know, I don't know. No, there's no talks. They don't, maybe they just don't know as well. It's just, it's just a, you know, I think they know. Just, how do you know? Well, no, what like? No, what to do? No, no, I think they know. I think they know that you're up. My no, I know is... they know I'm up, but I mean, what what way do you approach it? Like, well, how do we do? Because what's gonna set on me? I'm 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 a billion. I'm I'm Mr. B. Ariel, yeah. McGregor's basically saying, "How do you? They don't know how much I'm worth. I'm Mr. B, big Billy Bucks billionaire son. I'm the big fat cat, the fucking Irish in." All right. That's who McGregor is. And he's basically saying, they don't know They these losers at the UFC. They don't have a fucking clue how much they should be giving me. All right. McGregor's basically doing the whole I'm the captain now, as far as I'm concerned. And, and I, that's kind of what I'm getting at here, because I'm just thinking like the UFC wants him back. We know they do because he's the biggest star in the sport. But he hasn't fought in like three years. And he keeps saying he's going to even before this movie. He had like a whole year. After the Dustin Poirier rematch where he was recovering and then he started training again, we were talking about him coming back summer of 2022. Nothing happened. Or was it 2023? Either way, he could fight. The UFC could have him in the cage at UFC 300, 100%. The UFC would want to have him in the cage at 299, 298, 297, 296. They could have him in the cage every fucking week. But it's ultimately up to McGregor, okay? Everyone's saying the UFC's holding him back. Yeah, I, I understand they're not paying him as much as he'd like. Fair enough. But it ultimately is up to Connor. That's why he's saying things like, I'm Mr. B. How do they don't even know how to approach me? He's getting big headed now and he should. Because let's be honest, do you want to come back to get smoked by Michael Chandler? Because I don't care if Chandler's 40. McGregor's aged his body damn near 35 years with all the partying he's been doing. Michael Chandler's going to put his lights out. 
Okay? And McGregor, yeah, yeah, yeah. McGregor's gonna have a big powerful left hand in the first minute until that all comes crashing down when he realizes, oh shit, actually, you gotta put the hard yards in. Even when I'm an old head. Even when I'm Mr. B. Mr. B don't help you in the cage, buddy. Mr. B doesn't help you dig deep. Mr. B doesn't help that leg that's been totally mangled since your fight with Dustin Poirier. All right? Mr. B better chill. And I think he should. I think Conor McGregor should just give up fighting. Do I want him to come back? Hell yes. Of course I do. I want to see the McGregor build up. But like, should he risk getting knocked the fuck out? Because you realize if McGregor comes back and gets KO'd stiff, that's going to decimate his confidence. He'll probably not fight for another 10 years and his next fight will be in boxing against old Manny Pacquiao or some shit like that. His fight will be against Nate Diaz like Mike Tyson fought Roy Jones Jr. That's what McGregor's next fight's going to be as opposed to what I thought would be a good idea. Just put him against a fucking can. Have him sleep some can in the UFC. Put him in front of Patty or something like that, you know? And I think Patty could still sub Connor. I think he could still submit him. He may get screwed up on the feet. But coming back to get knocked out by Michael Chandler, letting Michael Chandler build his name up off of Connor McGregor and all that he's built, I don't know if it's necessarily worth it. I'm Mr. B, Mr. Couple of Bs, Couple of B. So what way do you come at someone like me? Do you get me that's going to keep me toy? You know? What's going to keep McGregor toy? What's going to keep McGregor fed? He's the big fat cat. And, and the thing is, the UFC is not giving him what he wants. You got to treat this like a Shamil Gaziev meal, dude. You're cooking for Shamil Gaziev. You better bring a second crock pot, dude. You better bring a couple of extra chickens. Straight up, dude, McGregor needs his bag. And he's not coming back unless he gets... He called his manager and said, tell the UFC this is the fucking number. And if they say anything less, slam the phone down and let him come back. It's like, oh yeah. I'm on a fucking money ladder. Yeah. And you guys think McGregor's like ready to fight? Man, stop. McGregor ain't coming back. McGregor's not fucking around with the same shit that they've been paying him. That's literally what I'm hearing. The UFC's holding them back. They don't want Conor back. Of course they do. We don't know how much he's asking for. I could just I just ride the wave, man, and then and then I don't know after that. But but that's my that's my catalog. That's my library. That's my life. The UFC is who is what made me and gave me this. You no, know, I could just ride the wave. I could just keep doing the movies. But I love the UFC. He's, he's about to say another but after that. I love the UFC. This is what made me. That's my catalog. That's my highlight reel. That's what's given me all these opportunities. But, and I love the company with all of my being. Really, it's the best, most iconic fighting organization there's ever been. And I'm all over it. And I fucking love that. So, and I love every fighter and every card and every show and every one at the backstage. And I'd love to do something. I'd love to carry it on. I hope. Let's see what uh, what transpires. Is there, is there a chance you, you know, fight the two there. fights and then test the, the market, or do you not have any interest in doing that? Would you like to lock something up before that? We don't have to talk. We have to talk. That's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't know, and I don't know whether they know what to come at me with. What can you come at me with? Oh, we don't. Hollywood now is lined up. I oh, actually can play loads of roles. Think of the amount of the movies I could do. The amount of, the amount of unusual crap. You know the way, like, there's Arnold Schwarzenegger and then there's, like, Sylvester Stallone and then all, all these guys, and they've all these great movies made around them. Think about the, think about the, think about the movies that you could make around me. You know what I mean? That could, that could be written around me. And I don't think they don't know that. I don't think they're not, that this is all, not all going on as well. So, you know, I don't know what they're going to come out with me. But, you know, like I said, Lorenzo. This is just proving my point. All right? McGregor is basically saying these guys better be sweating bullets, nervously running around like chickens without their heads, coming up with a deal for me that I'm going to like. Otherwise, I've got loads of Hollywood movies lined up. Now that I've done one and I'm the highest paid actor and I'm starting to pave my way in that industry as well, the UFC knows that if they don't come at me with something nice, I'm going to have something else occupying my time for the next couple of years. I'm leaving my prime. I'm 35 years old. It's now or never. It is now or never. Empty the bank. I'll come back. Otherwise, I'm gone. I think that's the only thing that's truly relevant here. A lot of people are going to be saying, yeah, yeah, McGregor's back, McGregor's back. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's not back until the UFC 
gives him what he wants. And I don't know what he wants. Maybe he's asking for over $100 million base pay. Could be something crazy like that. I know that the UFC probably gives him upwards of $30 million base pay outside of the sponsorships and pay-per-view points and all that. He could be asking for $100 mil. He could be asking for double what they paid him last time. And that is a big deal. But he understands, I don't need to come back. Why? Why am I going to get smoked by Michael Chandler? Potentially smoked. Because even though McGregor may be off of his rocker and he may be delusional and super cocky, I'm sure you need to be a delusional to at least get to where he's gotten in in life to succeed as much as he has. He needs to believe in himself, of course. But McGregor knows he's not putting in the hard yards. He knows he's not at his peak. He knows he's not investing everything into it. And he understands that a high-level athlete needs to in order to do well. So he knows that if he comes back, he's not going to be at his best, okay? He can try to do damage control and clean things up and have a good training camp, but he's not going to be at his best. And he could very well lose, and that's not good for business, okay? Because the last loss he had, it's kind of the best way to lose. Like, it was kind of anticlimactic. He snapped his leg. And you could kind of look past that and toss it to the wayside. The Dustin Poirier KO, that was the first time he got KO'd. The Nate Diaz submission, that was just perfect for his story because he got that one back. The Habib loss, okay, whatever. We we know how good Habib is. You lose to Michael Chandler, now you're losing to a, another guy that's not on DP's level, that's not Habib. This could damage his reputation a little bit, and he doesn't want to like go back into the business world doing all these other things after getting brutally knocked out because his stock ain't going to be as high and he'll have some brain damage to accompany it. So it's up to the UFC. Is McGregor closer to coming back? He may be further. Honestly, he may be further away than we think. He may not come back within the next couple of years because if they don't come to a deal very soon, if we don't get an announcement for McGregor and Michael Chandler main eventing International Fight Week, he's going to do something else. That's going to occupy his time. And he's just going to keep putting the UFC in the same position to where they need to offer him big bucks. Should they offer him big bucks? I mean, maybe. It depends on how much. Like, they're a business at the end of the the day, too, and they need to make money as well. So we'll see. We'll see. But that is why this fight's not happening. McGregor wants more money. And the UFC is right now figuring out what they're going to settle with. And if it doesn't work for Conor... Goodbye. We're not seeing him anytime soon. So do not get your hopes up. I actually don't think we're going to see him this summer. I hope that that's me jinxing it because I would absolutely love to see McGregor come back. But do not fall into the whole, all systems are go. No, not all systems are go. This is all systems are go of the UFC bows down for what I want. And I don't know if they're going to do that because they could lose money in the process of this. Let's not forget that. It's about the bottom line for them as well. So contract disputes, that's what's happening. McGregor has a million other opportunities. He's like the new highest paid actor, which is not that surprising, or at least he's the highest paid debuting actor, I should say. Why should he come back? It's up to the UFC. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time.